Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to go over all the different schematics that are available in Minecart Rapid Transit Station version 4.1. This is not a full-blown tutorial on how to import these stations into your own world. I plan to do that video at a later time using MC Edit, but uh, the, I can at least go over all the basic steps that you'll need to import this station. The first step is to select a station type. There are four different station types in version 4.1 and the difference between each station type is basically which levels of the station are meant to be above ground and which levels are meant to be below ground. Uh, we've got the uh, track level on the top, the passenger level on the middle there, and on the bottom the dispenser level. Now this elevated station here, all three levels are meant to be above ground. As you can see they're all lined with glass walling there. So you, this station is meant to be built high up. The next station type I'll go over is the ground level station, and the difference here is the dispenser level is all walled up, it's meant to be underground, while the top two levels, the track and passenger levels, are meant to be above ground. The third station type is, what we call, is something new to version 4.1, it's a subground uh, station, and the, basically the bottom two levels are underground, including the passenger level, while the track level remains above ground. And finally, we've got the fully underground station, where all three levels are meant to be below ground. Now, each station type has two different uh, orientations. These stations over here are oriented in a north-south direction, while these stations over here are oriented in an east-west direction. And you can, you'll also notice that there are gold blocks on each side. Uh, in the schematic files, you'll notice that they're labeled west or south, so that's supposed to match which direction these gold blocks are pointing at. So here we've got for the east-west schematics, these blocks sh should be pointing west when you import them. And over here we've got the uh, north-south stations and they should these gold blocks should be pointing south. It's very important to import these stations correctly in the correct orientation, otherwise you'll find that the carts will run off in the wrong directions uh, and will basically make your station uh, inoperable. So once you've imported your station into your own world, you'll probably want to add a fancy roof on top of it. There are eight different roof schematics in version 4.1, and the first two you can see in front of you are the arched roofs. They either come in high or low types. The next two roofs are gabled roofs, or also known as pitched roofs, and they also come in either high or low variations. The next two are new to version 4.1. These are what we call hip roofs. Oh, they also come in high or low types. And finally, we've got the multi-roofs. On the left, we've got a multi-arched roof, and on the right, we've got a multi-gabled roof. So the next thing you'll want to add to your station is an entrance. Uh, this will allow easy access for your passengers to walk in or out of the station. Now, these entrances used to be part of version 2.1 and were omitted in version 3, but now they're back and better than ever first entrance I'll go over is this button-powered entrance over here. You just simply push the button to open the door to gain entry. Uh, this, is, this entrance is meant to keep hostile or uh, friendly mobs out of your station. Now if your server doesn't have that sort of concern, you can instead use a plate-powered entrance over here, where uh, people can just simply walk through the door like so. Also, there are several different corridor uh, modules that you can use to attach your entrances uh, far outside of the station. So here I've got a, some stairs as well. Here we've got some half steps. And you've also on this over here, we've got the full stairs, which are a bit more steep. And this doesn't just apply to elevated walkways. You can, there are also underground walkways over here, which you can use to connect your underground stations. So of course, once you're done with the station, you'll want to connect those stations together. And to help you with that, I provide several different track schematics that are compatible with this version of the station. There are three broad categories of tracks. There are elevated tracks, ground level tracks, and underground tracks. And in each category, there are five different types of track. Uh, the one on the bottom you see on your screen there is a basic track schematic. Next one up is a chime schematic. It's a detector rail connected to a note block, and this is useful for reminding players as they arrive at a station. 
And the one in the middle is a switch schematic. This one's a bit of a misnomer. Uh, what it actually does is, for carts that are somehow running on the wrong side of the track, this switches those carts over to the right side of the track, uh, preventing collisions. The next schematic up is a terminus uh, track schematic. This is simply used at an end of the line. And finally, at the top, is a curve schematic, which is used to turn the whole uh, track to the left or right. Alright, so to end off this video, uh, one last thing you can do with your stations is to customize the colors and materials that the station is made out of. In MCED, you can use the Replace tool to replace the blue wool with any other type of wool or material you can desire. So here we've got all the different kinds of colors of wool. And this, can, this color coding is very useful if you have any sort of uh, a color coded line, such as the blue line or the red line, or if you just want to give your uh, stations a bit of more personality. You can also replace the iron blocks that make up most of the station with any other solid block material. So here we've got a wood uh, station. We've also got one made of full of diamonds. Uh, here's some mossy brick, and another one made of nether brick. So um, you can also make any sort of extensions to the station as well. Uh, it's completely flexible, and your, your imagination is the limit. So that's about it for this video. Uh, hopefully I'll make a more in-depth tutorial with that, that actually shows how to do this all in MC Edit, but that might not be for a while. So in the meantime, hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching.